Susie made it. She made it to site. I'm so proud of her. She um, holds 100Ks, no dramas. She did a DPF burn along the way. Given that I don't have a workshop at the moment, Emanuela and I live pretty nomadically. Getting the okay to have her on site was a huge win. We were just living in Port Hedland for the last six months. Big ship. And now we'll be living in Geraldton for the next three. Just got here a couple of days ago. There's lots of moving and there's definitely no workshops in the apartments we get given by the hospital. So I'm trying to find my way to a secret spot in the dunes. Uh, we found yesterday. There it is. This place just looks so cool. I don't know what it's here for. It's definitely abandoned. It's just in the middle of the dunes. So this first swing was really all about just getting the um, getting the tray off and assessing the situation underneath. There's lots of mud all up in the chassis rails. I wanted to get all that out just to see the extent of the rust. It's pretty thick rust, but there's a lot of chassis still there, so I think it's okay. I'm keeping track of all the expenses and all the hours I've spent on it, so if you stick around till the end, I'll, um, I'll just keep a running tally of everything that I'm doing and how much it's all costing. Is it even worthwhile to get an X miner or should you just bite the bullet, spend the money and buy a brand new truck or a nice second hand truck, you know? Anyways, here's the video. That should stop the battery going flat. Just unbolted the crane, the outrigger. There's the um, control block for the crane over there. It used to sit here above the isolators. guards because they're attached to the tray and take off there was a guard up in here it was pretty much the job for tonight still just trying to get the tray ready to come off not looking forward to trying to get those bolts out bolts undone so there's nothing holding the uh, tray on anymore. I just got to disconnect everything that's connected to the tray which is this junction box here. Give these wires a snip. I snipped this one which was hanging out by the um, isolator and after that I couldn't start the truck so this one cuts out ignition power. I'll have to join that one up around the other side there but all the rest of this should just be for lights.
so far it's truly been a budget build i've only spent 255 dollars on it and that was basically for the fuel cap um and the wheel nuts the wheel studs that i had there so um there's definitely going to be a lot more things to purchase in the future now that i've had a look at her and um definitely those rear brake lines need to be replaced and then there's just all the hardware that comes along with that i'll probably end up replacing a lot more than i thought but i'd rather replace it now and um have a good for the next like 10 years all the content from my first video that first afternoon that i spent on her that was six hours work and then this first swing just now in this video that was nine and a half hours and 11 12 so all together so far 15 and a half hours not bad i'm pretty happy with the amount of work i got done thanks for watching i'll see you next time and don't forget praise jesus